Let's fucking rock and roll. Welcome back, ladies and gents, to the Don't Call Me White Girl podcast starring me. Don't call me white girl. Drake has the laugh track now. Because Drake listens. So we ain't got a clip. I still appreciate your, your claps. Lord. South Philadelphia's own Time Flies is in the clapper. fucking building. I'm a clapper. Okay. Time Flies is in the building. All right. Time Flies is in the building and I'm paying attention. Phelps is here and he looks amazeballs because Phelps has been in the gym. <laughs> His ass looks really good in these jeans. Yo. I said in the hallway, I said in the hallway, he was like, what the fuck, what's up? But his ass just sitting right in the jeans. <laughs> I lost my privileges already and y'all won't even get that on the pod. <laughs> Damn. I know. How's it feel, guys? How you feel? To, um, uh, it's cool. Very, chilling. very, very great. It's beginning of the summer type of shit. You feel me? How was Father's Day, Tom and Dre? Oh, yeah. My dad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Father's Day. Father's Day for me was it was it was cool. I'm still expecting a boat from my son that I got promised three years ago. Still you gonna get you a boat? Yeah, but Aww. you know, I don't know with with whose money, but you know. Do you want a boat? I feel like since he offered it, I feel like I want it now. He's a I didn't ask king. for that. Like he brought it to the table, so I guess it's feasible. So I want it. Dre's my dad. How was your Father's Day, Dre? <laughs> got one child, one badass old ass kid. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well for myself, though. But, no, it's summertime, baby. And I don't know. I'm kind of opposite as far as, like, being healthy or, like, gym shit or being, like, you know. I don't know. I feel like I get more healthier when it gets warmer because I'm constantly worried about, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just worried about how I look more in the summertime because you can kind of hide under your clothes in the winter. That's why you doing it in the summer. That's why you've been sounding out of breath. <laughs> that was mean but it's necessary Phelps has been trying to get me to go in the gym <laughs> Phelps has been trying to get me to go in the gym and I have I took a walk today okay I wore my waist trainer I still have my waist trainer on my oh, waist right. snatchers waist trainer okay and I like them because it's like comfortable and it feels like a girdle I don't know about you bitches I wear my waist trainer all day that's long. gonna train your waist but are you gonna train your body I'm trying right. Phelps ease up now I nigga boy <laughs> Give a nigga an inch. Don't they take a mile, won't they? I just asked the Everybody question. can't look good like you. I just asked. I ain't always look like this. Whatever. I'm doing everything healthier. I'm even cutting down on the tobacco. I smoke these. These are non-nicotine, non-tobacco. I'm on point. You know what's crazy? For me being on the health shit, you know I respect the tobacco more than that. <laughs> you do? I like it. And it's black owned. You know I'm all for black owned. We used to respect, shout out black owned businesses. Respect. We need to get back we need to get on back there. To that. We do. We do. We do. We do. This is a black owned business. This is black smoke. Um and yeah. it's this shit. No niggas We no need niggas to be on business, not on bullshit. That's the problem. Say it again, love. We need niggas to be on business and not on bullshit. I'm so glad you said that because I just had this conversation with somebody. I feel like I feel like we too hard on each other with that. Now, granted, I think that black businesses do have is some bullshit that's connected, but I feel like it's equal. So, like, how long has McDonald's been a terrible establishment? It's been a terrible establishment for a long time, although they don't get half as much flack as Shaquita's Chicken does because it's like you have a bad experience with Shaquita's Chicken, then it's like, oh, I'm done. I'm done with black businesses. I think we need to be a little more patient with our people. That's what I said. Just be on business, not on bullshit. Yeah, I mean, you know, niggas run out of oxtails at three o'clock. Lemonade, ice. See, you know? I mean, you that's cups, good, that's straws, napkins. That ain't get bad. the same type of service. early. I, I this more open of, late. It's more of like the 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 way that they that they just operate, communicate. Sometimes that's all. Yeah, definitely. I think the customer service thing is a big deal. I feel like. You should aim for Chick Fil A customer service, yeah. and I feel like a lot of times you're not getting that. You almost getting like, like you should be lucky to be here type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Both parties got to get better at treating each other better. I feel like yeah, because I feel like <laughs> black people go into a black owned establishment and already like, feel like we from come from the Entitled, same place. Yeah, we come, like so you Do know. You? Not it's me crazy, per se, but I see it. Listen, if y'all knew what we dealt with on the hair tip. Oh, I, don't, I, I already be seeing them prices and be like, what? Yeah. Bitches want you to come washed, blow dry, <laughs> flat ironed. They want you to bring a broom to sweep your own dead ends off the floor. <laughs> like, it's crazy. I, I remember a girl did my hair once and she literally was like, she lived somewhere like in the urban area and there wasn't no parking. So I called her like, where do I park? And then she called me, she texted me, there is a late fee. 
bitch. Nah, nah, <laughs> There's nowhere nah, for me to nah, park, nah, love. Nah, 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 like nah, you nah. live, like what the fuck? Nah. The hair, the hair, you hairdresser bitches are like, what the fuck? So barbers are not on that. Hell I mean, no, barbers be late. Barbers, barbers. <laughs> first of all, barbers, they, they, well, my barber, he'd, he'd take 75 smoke breaks. Nigga caught you on the phone. Is he phone. smoking weed? No. This okay. it makes it even worse. He's smoking cigs and he on the phone all the time. He chatting. Don't he's just talk doing too much lot. shit. He talk. No, that's my guy. You need he, an appointment. He, 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 he from the P. Okay. So, so we good. But it just, it's that's just. South Philly for you. Barbers, right? yeah. Barbers, they, they put on gloves and just start charging like an extra $35. So it's inflation. So I understand. Yeah. My, my barber, cool. He late sometimes, but like if I'm if I'm late, it's not like a thing. Like it ain't no dog. There is literally people. The squeezing fees two hundred dollars. What what is that? A squeezing fee is oh, nah. if I was already booked and I'm fitting you into my schedule, which is so, solely what do you, you have do for time your customers. Or not? Yeah, that's part of. The, well, I don't know my my barber. I do got to even though I've been with him for a while now, I do still got a book on the app because he's getting his paper. I respect that, but yeah. the squeezing is what it don't squeezing make sense. fees, Saturday fees. I don't work on Sunday, so mm. yeah. I see they um some it's girl rough. she had like people in Upwork because she charged like a fee for like parting your hair or something like mm. that. Yeah, that's taking like shit out, <laughs> taking other people or a double fee if working on somebody else's work. It's I don't know we in a recession. I mean, at this point, I'll just skip and not make an appointment because I just want to avoid going through shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, because I've had beefs with these people. You know what I mean? So it's like just to avoid it. It's like when you already show me from the door you're a bitch. It's like fuck you. Like they leave you on scene and you ask the questions. They ignore you and shit. Like you hairdresser bitches. And then the crazy part about it is Come you don't on, even have licenses. Hood. <laughs> you don't even have a license. What if somebody call the state? What if somebody call and tell on you, Shaquita, that you didn't go to school for that? You learned they, in the kitchen. Print they shit on them. I feel like if you doing hair in the house and it's not an establishment, and I gotta walk past your grandma to go to the bathroom, <laughs> I shouldn't have to pay a certain amount. Like I think that you should charge where you at in life. It don't even smell like a hair salon in here. It smell like house. You like, ain't you offer did. no water. <laughs> Yeah, I smell like whatever they cooking in this motherfucker. Right. Then they cooking full meals on they offer you a piece of chicken. And then the kids got that around. uncomfortable way of holding on your knee and Uncle, just looking at Uncle you. Uncle coming through. Trying to get you a chicken Unk nugget. Unk staring at the customers on the front of the counter. God forbid the bitch want to stop for arguments, fights, and all that. Because they will. Hold on. What the fuck did you say? Like, bitch. Oh, God. I've been through some rough shit with these hairdressers. But yeah. For, for on the up and up, I think we should be more patient. And on the other end, I think that we should take time in training our employees about customer service. And because there's been times where I had bad customer service at a little soulful restaurant, it might be a young girl at the time. I'll call the person I know that owns it, mm. or I'll go out my way to find the manager. And say, look, you got this little girl in the front. She being nasty to everybody. You gonna lose business that way. And time management. I don't want to wait three hours for no player, bitch. Like, I'm not even hungry no more. You know what I mean? Like, you took the fun out of it, bitch. Ugh. But whatever. I love black people. I love my people. It's Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth, niggas. Yes, Absolutely. It sickens me that so many people don't know what Juneteenth is still. If you don't know what Juneteenth is, that's the day that we were technically free from slavery. Real independence. Yes, our independence for real. We celebrate July 4th. A lot of you Southerners wear mix match adidas sweatsuits and go to barbecues and y'all got red white and blue we done with that we wearing dashikis power to the people on 4th of july we were still slaves juneteenth that next year we were free and that's why we celebrate juneteenth i want juneteenth to get as big as it can and be crazy and festivals everywhere and it turned into this huge thing mm -hmm. but right now it's still weird and rocky and we don't know what to do with it yeah i feel like i, I just said that i'm like yo what do we actually do for like like because it's i feel like we still in the development process Easy. we can we can make like a like a tradition of it like Easy. we still haven't figured out what the fuck we do for doing thing. <laughs> All we gotta do is be the same thing or, we do every day. Just get day. fucked up, get fucked up. Just be, just be black that day. Just be a little be black as shit. Just be a little more extra black that day. Like technically, you don't have to let nobody white over. You don't have to let, and you can cut in line wherever you at music parks, whatever. You go first. If the people don't know, just walk past them. You could let your greasy aunts and uncles get as drunk as they want and yes. disrespectful that day. You Nasty. Feel me? You just walk around like the Black Panther movie and just, you know, greet each other. Yeah, like, like Shiki's, you know. Sub sis. I'm with all that. Like a Doom Day. <laughs> we have a Doom Day in Philadelphia. They don't have a Doom Day other places, do they? I'm not sure. I'm, I've I'm never so been cool. to a Doom Day festival, but I'm. Y'all don't know what Doom Day is? I it's know. It's African is. Day. I'm looking at that Wi-Fi stick. My bad. Do you know? Do you know what Undone Day is? 
I don't know either. Maybe we have to Google it or something. But it's African Day like Philadelphia. Like we have a good time. It's festivals. It's black people. Yeah, don't. I know what it is. I just I'm, I'm bad with the history. I've never been. It's like, I don't like. even think it's a historical thing. I think it's um it's just like an African festival. And they do like different things from the African culture. I don't know. You got to educate yourself. If you anywhere near my age, for sure, they ain't teach you none of this shit in school. So you have mm-hmm. to read. Mm-hmm. You want to know about what's, you know, your own culture. That's very important. And you want to teach it to your children. Stop expecting these fucked up ass the establishment to teach us about us. Like, that's what the fuck we got going on. So it was Juneteenth and it was Father's Day. I want to talk about Father's Day because of all the daddy bashing online. It was so mm, sick. I didn't see too much. I mean, I seen enough of it. Listen, years ago, I remember Father's Day came and I sent and bought gifts for my mom, my grandma. And I remember my grandma and I'm like not really being receptive to it. Like, I'm not a dad, bitch. I don't think it's cute. Word. Don't remind me. I mean, now nowadays it's so prevalent. I got told Happy Father's Day a couple times on Father's Day. Yeah, that's Day. weird. I mean, and honestly, the my children's dads are fathers. You know what I mean? I, of course, I could complain, um, you know, in a certain extent, but they both love their kids, and they always mm-hmm. been around their kids. So it's like I, they have fathers, so I definitely am not playing mm-hmm. daddy in these situations. Thank God. And to the girls that do play daddy, you still aren't a father. You know what I mean? It sucks that you have to be forced to play that role, but... I'd rather focus on the good dads. And I know so many good dads like Tom or Dre, you know what I mean? Just doing a good job raising their kids and shit. I know way more good fathers than shitty fathers nowadays. I really do. Shit. I know a lot of deadbeat mommies right now. Statistically, black fathers are the the, the best, right? I don't know about that. All the statistics out. We can run with that. I'm here. Y'all say black men don't cheat too. Statistically. I'm drinking water too. I'm so healthy. I ain't, Such a healthy I don't bitch. be. I don't be. I don't. Statistically, um, but Are you excited to have children one day. Yeah. How many you want? If I could have three, maybe. What's the thing, boy, girl? What? As long as I have one boy, the other two can be girls. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god! I'll give you one. Got your daddy. <laughs> gotcha. And I never cheat on you, daddy. I'll say this: if I I want more than one, because the only child ain't. I see how that's a bad joint. Me and Phelps yeah. are both only children. We're both fucking sickos. Yeah. Only children are psychotic. Um, sometimes we're really spoiled. We really don't know how to like be social. Like we fake know how to be social, but not really. We tend to be loners. Oh, look, the other only child's looking. But it's true. <laughs> it's true. Damn, we're weirdos. We're weirdos. Dre's more on the normal side of only child. Like, yeah. I don't see it, but I still have, like, things in common with Dre. The only I, children, Tom is the exact opposite of an only child. There's my bracelet. Hood, leave it Fuck down. it. Fuck it, Tom. I'm get it though. He's such a gentleman. You, um, He's from South Philly. Thank you. I feel like me and you, we like the kind of the extremists. Like, we real good and social when we out we like woo everybody yeah but then niggas is gonna dip off for like yeah like stop talking to me stop messaging me I'm gonna go back in the hole for like three four days please don't call my phone this month (laughs) not this week this month leave me the fuck alone like we're totally like fine with being alone time is the opposite how many is it total y'all five or six on my mom's side or my dad's side just total just him all together it's probably like ten yeah, he's the opposite of only child. Five on five at the crib. I'm trying to tell y'all don't have only one girl. kid. It's not cool. It's just you need to have somebody that you conspire to kill your parents with. You know what I mean? Like so I, I hate mommy. That bitch. She's Shout out my whore. little brother and sister having each other in the house growing up. Yeah, you know what I mean? You need somebody that you could just plan and plot with, you know, and hate your parents and like plan <laughs> to kill them. I just randomly watched that doc. Well, it's not a documentary, but like a little YouTube thing about. Remember the little two boys in Atlanta that tried to kill their parents, but they were unsuccessful. No. They put Xanax in their food. <laughs> Guess what though? Guess what? Black. Well-to-do black family from Atlanta. I know y'all remember at home. Y'all gonna put it in the comments. Uh, black family in Atlanta. The mom breaks free. She's calling. My kids are trying to kill me. They put Xanax in our food. Oh. They beat my husband. They beat me. Help, help. Yeah. And guess what's the craziest part about the story? By the middle of trial, they're standing with them, testifying, asking for them not to get too much time. They both got 20 years. They're mm. brothers. Yeah, how old was they? They were like 21, 22. Oh, oh nah, yeah. Yeah, tap that on. Yeah, you need that. 
Yeah, but then, but it was so crazy because they beat them. Like they didn't shoot them; they beat them, and they didn't get. They didn't do the job right. Clearly, because mommy got away and called the police. You know what I mean? Couldn't even do that right, fucking bums. Because <laughs> your parents got this big, huge house in Atlanta because they lived nicely, like really, they were really trying big to get house. That insurance money. They wanted the insurance money. They were going to beat them and burn the house down. Yeah, whack. I can't believe y'all don't know that story, but I randomly watched that and it just reminded me. That sound like a um, even if I would try to kill my mom, I wouldn't have had no help. It sound like a BET Plus movie. Plus, yeah, it definitely sound like some Tyler Perry picked the actors. Oh, okay, no. Lifetime. I don't know. I don't watch a lot of that trash. Um, okay, moving along. Drake dropped. I have a lot to talk about. Drake dropped. People don't like the Drake album. I never listen to Drake. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. I don't listen to Drake. Drake is cool. It's... Drake is talented. I've always felt like Drake adapts, excuse me, adapts to different personalities or styles or whatever. And I can't ever jump on it because it's like reggae Drake. Then it was like Texas slow down rapper Drake. And then it was Tory Lanez Drake. Pow, pow. And then it was, you know what I mean? Manchester United. I can't just. Memphis Drake. Memphis Drake. I could <laughs> never just grab on, but he makes great music. Yeah, I yeah. feel like people are shocked about it not being rap, but it's like this nigga been singing and doing yeah. different shit. Did you like it? Did y'all listen? Um, I heard. Th the thing is with me is like, it's not for me at all, but I get it because I didn't I didn't been in them spaces where they, they play that music. You feel me? That's more like a. Lower East Side, you feel me? Yeah. I heard it was a lot it's, of Be More Club music, oomps, Philly Club it's music. More, it's it's, the oomps, it, it, it's, oomps. But the Philly Club music is taking over. It Shout is. out to the but fucking the only, Philly Clubbers. The only clubbers. thing is, I would say is it is, but it's not as fast. He made it for more. He's more mainstream. You know, Philly is that shit gonna be. It's not as fast, but it's there. But it still reminds you of something else. Oh, yeah, for it's sure. There. And that's sure. what he does to yeah. me. So it's like I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I always talk about being Aquarius and how much we want to stand out. I just hate stuff like that. Like. You gotta be yourself. It's not my thing. I'm, People seem to be really pissed with this. You know? That's um, dirty era one music I, to me. But so. y'all know, y'all know I like Drake. I just it, it just took me like I was just surprised that it was like a damn. I was expecting a rap album. So at you first I'm like, I'm not fucking with this. I'm yeah. cool off it. But after initial initially going like that, I listened to it just with ears like, all right, it's a dance album, not a rap album. It was like yeah. it's, it's cool. I probably wouldn't be listening to it. He dropped the dance album in the middle of Pride Month. Yeah. And he says, "Was house music?" He said, "House music, house EDM, techno, yeah. Afro that, beats, yeah, it's, all it's that." It's the, you mean it's the music? You mean it's like beach house voguing, type music? I'm voguing for the listeners. I was just voguing. And, and like <laughs> motherfuckers gotta understand, like the Canadian culture. That's they French, like I Jamaican. This nigga's Canadian. It's a melting pot. He's yeah, a Canadian. They not. They not. Give they him not. A break. He's Canadian. They not super hip hop. They more Caribbean influenced than hip hop. Give the nigga a break. He's a fucking Caribbean. No, oh, no he's not Caribbean. Caribbean. He's white. He's, he's, Jewish. Jewish. he's Jewish. I'm just saying the Canadian culture. He's a Jew. Yeah. Shout out to the Jews. He only did that shit to get out of the Beyonce widow. Oh, Beyonce's dropping. The dates in her bio. What is it? Tonight. Well, when y'all hear this, it's out. Oh, my God. Tom, they dropped it. Yeah, we drop it. I mean, Beyonce dropped it. Oh, she like, on right some middle of the week shit? Old school? Yeah. She's she dropping an album in July, but the first single comes out. Today was well, yeah. out. Today. I still, I still like right when like some random artist drop on a Tuesday instead of the Friday. Like I like that. Like that's how that's what we used to. Yeah, Beyonce the Friday cool, but it be burnt out sometimes. Like, I've never even gotten into that. I very rarely listen to it when it first comes out. It's so weird. I just don't do that. Oh no! Nah, if it's a my, I'm waiting on. I'm, I might wait I'm on, on the Let, twelve oh one. <laughs> twelve a.m. I'm on there. I've only waited for the. Shout out to Young Thug, Free Young Thug, and the rest of YSL. And they're going to be good. Happy birthday to Gunner. And they're going to be good because it's a RICO case, but it's not federal. It's state. And we manifesting them. And we manifesting them only doing five years max. Maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch has a lot of smoke up her ass. That DA, you're full of shit. And Word. we can see all through your bullshit ass case, bitch. In your rap because your hair's thin. She probably she probably don't. Never Fuck mind. you, Lisa Ray. What's her name? <laughs> I was I, I was gonna say she might be the only uh, black woman that land without a fat oh, ass. That's why she like that. Fucker, she got a fat ass. She probably don't have one. That's it's why hard. she act like that. Yeah, she, she got a hard ass. It's Boxy stank. joint, stanky ass, hard ass, back wide shot, shoulders, the stink wide back, back, shot. back, having bitch, chicken sex. Shout out to Deuce Deuce. <laughs> she smell like chicken sex. Deuce Deuce and Glorilla dropped the song. We fucking love them here. Okay, y'all like Glorilla. Just say that. Go, I fuck with Gorilla. She, we love Gorilla. We she watching her glow that. up. She, she uh, that. she, she giving uh Slim Joints a chance on my end. Like she, she the reason. You feel me? <laughs> Listen, 
She yeah. is the slim girl with the good pussy. That's what they, they talk about, the good, deep, She wet. giving that vibe, She so. might be too young for us to say that about her. How old is she? Uh, we don't fake check. Talking about we fuck don't nigga fake free. check. She fuck nigga free is who we talking about. F nigga, fuck nigga free. This bitch come out teeth everywhere. G and they to street. the L to the O, big glow. She, and she's she, on our fucking she, sister show. Is that our sister show or our Marco, brother show? Brother show. Shout out to Marco. Marco had her on the podcast. It was funny as shit. It was she, a monkey on she, there. She scam niggas and all that. She grown. We she like thorough. Glorilla. Glorilla drama. Dude, dudes, we love glow. Glorilla. We had a great conversation about the Memphis music scene, even though they just lost a fucking. Goliath, Dolph, R.I.P. Yeah. Dolph, but we like what y'all doing in Memphis, country ass niggas. Niggas be laughing because I know the words. She remind me of like Foxy Brown, though. What, on the rapping? Presence, voice, yeah. yeah. Wow. She I just like her. her. She yeah. gutter. She she like her I like her whole squad. Her bestie, I like all them bitches. She giving me like real, like a female gutter rapper. She's not trying to like be a singer. She's and trying to she's be a rapper. And she's promoting fuck niggas. Like, yeah. don't chase them. Mm -hmm. Fuck them. Duck them. Get a couple dollars. Enjoy your life. Word. Don't have a baby. If you do have a baby, put that nigga in the video and keep it moving. She talking about what's going Shout on. Shout out to Glorilla. I like that. Really, really are in the I'm trenches. really surprised. I wonder where she got that name from, though. But no, it's so cute, though. Literally, every post, designer outfit, new teeth, new watch, new chain. Like, I'm with we watch this bitch glow up. I'm we with feet. I think we're here for it, baby. I'm with I think all that. Feet Shout out to Glorilla. Mm -hmm. I like a couple girls. I like another girl. This is a little off topic. Um, Ice, Ice, Spice. Ice Spice. I love. Look, I'm forcing them to listen to Ice Spice <laughs> out the Bronx. Forcing these niggas to listen to. Her. I love her. They say she the queen of drill or something. They giving her some type of drill, whatever drill title. But she is so cute. Oh, she's the cutest, and I like her music. Bitch, I am the one. She sound like uh, check Ice Spice out and Glorilla. She sound like dumb. They all young the women, bitches. I'm with women. that. Push the young bitches all the women, up. No bullshit. Um. Okay, I had to talk about something serious. Yeah, so of course it was horrible shooting somewhere. Was that was it horrible kitty shooting in Texas? Was it in Texas? Yes, please. Okay, right. So we talked about that already. We talked about that right after Texas drops a law because we gotta stop this bullshit. Like, of course, a bunch of kids get murdered in the classroom. It's fucking terrible, right? So the first thing we should do is make a law that no children are allowed at drag shows. <laughs> Damn, Texas sucks. Like, Texas might be the stupidest place Because the on drag earth. queens is the ones doing the I'm mass say, killing. Drag the queens the are the ones that are fucking shit up. So we have to, like, no. This is like the third or fourth time I feel like we discussed Texas law. I was about law. to say, I feel like we talk about a new Texas law like once every, every month. Baby, every. I'm not even up on laws. Trust me, I'm the last bitch to know what's legal and what's not. But y'all are really stupid down there. Y'all got to go to the polls down there, motherfucker. Something like, what the fuck is going on? Y'all should have started busting windows as soon as they said it. That was It's, it's a slap in That's the face. Crazy. The timing on it, it is like. It makes no sense. Yeah. A couple clips go viral with these kids at these drag shows. And some of the kids are involved. And they, it's like, who cares what these motherfuckers doing? But that's they children. They probably. They want their children rogue and let them let their children rogue. That's, that's their business. And it ain't no record of them kids with guns and all of that. Like, I mean, clearly, if you're taking your kid to a drag show, they have some kind way of interest more, in it yeah. or something. Yeah. And even not, okay, you just took them because you ain't have a sitter. Fuck it. If the building <laughs> let them niggas in, let them the fuck in. Get this nigga a mimosa. Timmy wants a mimosa virgin. We're going to enjoy the drag queens. That's their business. I I've never been in the business of like getting involved in families and what they can do with their kids and not like mind your fucking business. But that the timing on that is just like a slap in the face. That's ridiculous. How do, how do, how them families feel like that? That just happened and it wasn't no gun laws. It was a, a I just drag watched law. a crazy. teacher right from the from the mass shooting. Every student in his class died. He gets shot and every single kid in his class died that day. He came out and said that he felt like the police didn't help them. And oh, oh like the, one of the one. So one of the one, one of the one of the one of the Texas classrooms. One, one of the complex classrooms was completely wiped out. The whole class. Wow. And the teacher made it. And I watched his wow. interview. And on his interview, he was like, you know, basically, he felt like he wasn't protected. Like he didn't feel like that they came in and did their thing. But it's like that's fucking terrible. It's crazy because somebody just went to a camp and shot up a camp, and them and those cops went in. They were there in a minute. And killed the fuck out that man. That's, and nobody got hurt. That's what need. That's what needs to be going on. I was about to say. I seen a report uh, came out and it was like the surveillance video showed that the 
the cops did not, in fact, go in the school to try to. Yeah, they just sat outside. That was yeah. the whole thing. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, at this t- it's 2022, we just need to have full police at the schools, period. Mm-hmm. It needs, when I went to high school, um, shout out to William Penn, we had a full police station, and he was there to lock us up. Well, I was about to we say. We need a police station that protects and us. And nigga, high schools, there. they make sure it's police there to fill to them jails the up. up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all make sure y'all, keep, y'all keeping that cycle going. Taking niggas. At this point. Box cutters and shit. Mm-hmm. At this point, for sure, we can all agree it's enough in the budget. These motherfuckers need to be watching out for these. And it should be you cannot get into the school. Like, you, it's hard to get into my son's school. That's how it needs to be all the time. Oh, yeah, ain't nothing happening at that school. Yeah. Not, not with that he shit He goes right and there. picks up smush. Yeah. It's hard. But that's how it should be. Like, it's. Ugh, I'm so tired of talking about stuff like that already. You know what that's I mean? So it's just like, it's just, it's beyond, it's disgusting. The the people the victims that are they can't protect themselves they can't go get guns and wear guns with their little kids and old people we should just make sure the motherfuckers is okay you know what I mean they shouldn't make you want homeschool your children I'm telling you because they just sitting ducks for some freak to come with a fuck on a mission to do a bunch of bullshit it's just ridiculous Texas that's a dumbass law the you can't get abortion law is a dumbass law <laughs> and the you can't give a bitch a ride to get the abortion law is a dumber fucking law take y'all fucking asses to the polls and vote them dumbass niggas out. Do what you got to do. Start a riot. You going to just sit there and take it? Something. Call Jerry Jones or something. The fuck is wrong with y'all? She probably with it. While I'm bitching, I got another complaint. Wendy Williams is off the air forever. The show is done. Mm, like done. She got to get her health I, in I thought order, she had though. like a replacement. No. Like and you know what pissed me off the most? What? They did not send her off. They didn't do anything for her. No big show. No nothing. Like they just sat her chair there with like a track. With like a blind track in a skirt with no hip prints in it. And they just laid it on a chair and was like, thanks for watching us. So she wasn't. The skirt no- is because she ain't have a lot of hips. Oh, uh, okay. All right. She wasn't a hippie girl. She's not a hippie. She's still alive, but she still don't have hips. No, wasn't any sneaks? No sneaks? No, no 13s. Either way, that's fucked up. Wendy Williams lit the TV up for a long time. Like I mm-hmm. told y'all years ago, we were on Team Pyramid together on Power 99. That bitch made me lose. I was trying to win Great Adventure Passes, but she made it so I could only get an Outcast album. <laughs> Thank God Outcast <laughs> is the shit. And I'm an Outcast fan. Shout out to Andre 3000. <laughs> Shout out to Andre 3000. I was, was pissed You was though. calling number nine and you ain't get all the way through. <laughs> she kept fucking, no, she was really fucking up and she kept pronouncing my name wrong. My mom was so pissed about that. My mom was so upset. Y'all know why, why. Y'all know why I'm here at the show. No, I feel like Wendy deserved a real send off. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Unless she was a part of that decision, that is bullshit. I don't think she was. <sighs> Some um, things we'll you just know. don't leave like that. Wendy Williams has been a part of daytime television for so long, and she's a spicy part, a black part. We enjoy it. I saw better send offs on blogs. Shout out to Fee from Gossip of the City. Fee did a send off. Fee even did the. I'm not saying. Remember when she passed out with the. I'm, I'm not Liberty? saying this is her. <laughs> And that was hilarious. It was like, well, what's the odds you get the, to the have one that thing, happen when you got a costume on? The one thing I noticed when people like dip off like that, or it's real like uh, sudden, and it's then it's quiet. It's usually some lawsuit shit going on now. Wendy Williams, she probably didn't have nothing, but a lot of times like that's she's definitely fighting them though. It's like she's beefing with them. She's but I'm like, saying, it's, yeah, it, that's then that's probably yeah, it. That's what I was saying. Maybe something going on behind the scenes. Yeah. But this is what I will say. Definitely a fan of Wendy Williams. I've read all her books. She is a fucking survivor. She's a beast. She is a legend in her own fucking right. I know this ain't the end of that nigga. And this shit that we could do, you know, you know, you know, it's so many apps and streams and whatever. Somebody pick Wendy at big ass up because she belongs on TV still. She's not too old. You know what I decided to do? Wendy Williams always did shoe cam. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start doing nail cam. Okay. I have start all 10 of mine now. <laughs> pride nails it's still pride mouth shout out to my gay people because i love y'all don't like a lot of you but i do love you but look look at nail cam dre's gonna zoom in aren't they cute do you like them i love i like them so sorry does my nails lick her and lashes sorry so i like I those she's all booked up your nails look try. great when they on and they they fall Dubs always gotta throw a dig Dubs always <laughs> so gotta throw a shot Dubs always gotta be shady boop boop um, yeah, so we're doing nail cam for now. Andre, are you okay with that? Andre okay. just gave us a dry ass nod. He doesn't seem to be excited about it. I told Dre earlier he only likes my hair when it's real. Dre's one of them. He don't like fake hair. He 
he's one of them. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, speaking of pride, my baby Santana had a had made a hey, big listen, speech. I gotta move over. We love Santana, I first of all. We love Santana here at this fucking podcast. Shout out. They've been giving Santana a lot of fucking Shout smoke and bullshit. Santana first, they found his old tweets. He said Blue Ivy's hair was nappy, which is <laughs> terrible. I like the way Phelps thinks it's funny. I like the way he handled it. I do, because he was brave about it. And you know what happened in the middle of that Phelps? I wanted to tell you. Some guy, I can't remember who it was, but he tweets him some oh, advice. Oh, uh, uh, be- uh, club guy, whatever the nigga Clubzilla or something. Yeah. He tweets him some shit like, look, you going to Houston tomorrow to perform? You better apologize because they rough da da da. Santana tweets him back, nigga, you got my number. You just asked me to get such and such on that. the song. I hate that. That happened to me when I went through what I went through on Twitter. People that were cool with me to have my phone number tried to correct me on the timeline. Oh, yeah. That's so corny that's ass weird. shit. That's corny. That is not. And I remember, I think the guy responded to Santana with something like, um, well, you didn't respond anyway, but it doesn't matter, motherfucker. If you're trying to pull somebody up, you don't pull them up in front of 100 million thousand people. That's it not look, how that goes. Yeah, you gimmicky. trying to get something going behind that. Yeah. Cornball as, ass as the nigga. Kids say, Nah, the dicky and it's crazy. That's yeah. ridiculous. It, it, it looked real gimmicky and real like I hate clout chasing shit, but that's that's what it looked like. Santana made it clear it was wrong. It was as old. I'm wrong. Let's let that live because it's like the I, we I'm, I'm anti cancel culture, and if he would, it's so crazy because I'm telling you those moments are so delicate. What you do with them, you never know what's next. It's like a evil roller coaster with your future at the bottom mm-hmm. of it, and you don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. I like the way my baby handled it. I like Santana. They was giving him shit about what he said on the stage as far as women. The same thing he said here on our podcast, podcast yeah. where it was like, you know, gays are usually kept in the back after we service you to get you ready for the front. Hair, nails, makeup, style, dance, whatever. You come to get all this stuff from us and then we're just held in the back. That's a feeling that he had as a gay man. As a gay man who was an MUA. You know what I mean? So I don't know why anybody would have complaints about shit like that. And I feel like gay black men for sure do a very good job of paying homage to the black woman and how much mm-hmm. they get from them and what they like and all that so i don't know where that little i don't know you know my my thing is we all need to what? blend together so we can get together and take down what? the evil rich was white it a man. specific uh yeah was it a who came who, right. who came at saucy Next women Tuesday. women came at him um i would i guess yeah more Two more women than not Okay. Um, we're just saying like you know kind of oh one was the blue back. ivy the other one was yeah, the, was the makeup but yeah, they it was, was just yeah. back to back they yeah. on my baby ass oh, cause he's nah, doing yeah. well leave big dog alone I mean man. you got that RCA day doing a lot of big things man yeah. we gotta you know and he got a bread. fat ass alright fat ass you think you better than me Santana cause your butt bigger than mine you not Whatever. Yeah, but um so that, the homie with I'm pause. not with the old tweet shit. I'm not with like I get up it. off my old Twitter and in the meanwhile, delete your old tweets. Cause these niggas dig them up. Like get ready for it. Seriously. Yo, I ain't yeah, they whew. I ain't saying nothing. I might just delete my Twitter and start it over. Phelps Twitter is violent. You understand what I'm saying? Like Phelps Twitter is like Duh! Phelps is a fucking That's cat, evil but they demon tyrant. <laughs> Phelps Hugo, I think it is. No, that's that's my IG. Thank you. Damn, what's your Twitter? I forgot because you got a little sweet. Don't worry SX about it. SXVN. Damn. Something. Almost got it. Whatever. Um, Nick Cannon's having his 17th kid. Shout out to Nick Cannon. Congratulations. <laughs> Big Father's Day. Don't know who put that Yo, on the list, but you are I'm, fertile I'm and not you come be, a lot. I'm not trying to be, I don't know the right word. I'm a, I don't want to, but like, yeah, but I don't even know if that's right for what I'm just sh- sh- say. That's why I'm I didn't want to say facetious. Um... They were saying like Nick Cannon was about to die. That's why he keep having kids, right? Well, but, he does have a health element that. Goes but that's yeah. what I'm saying. My man's look like he just out here living life. He don't look like he having kids because he about to die. He, I don't understand why anybody would have so many children with so many women. But I will say I that he can afford to, and those women seem happy. So who gives a fuck? That was my thing. I'm like. Why are the women willing? I hate when folks raises his hand. <laughs> I was it's a pet the same peeve. Thing. Like, don't do it. This I mean, is not third grade. Why? Why are the women like willingly having just babies? Like, not even to get into like the broken home shit. All that. Like, why are like women just lined up to just have? Like, babies? I feel like it has to be something in addition to his wealth that makes them feel comfortable or secure enough to have kids. Well, them women look happy to me. You figure. 
Future was a rapper that had a bunch of girls. I was or about, whatever. That's why I raised and my hand. I was about so to say much that. drama would come from that. And people yeah. talking shit. These women are not coming out doing that. Yeah. They seem to be happy. The dick must be good. But yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Call I was gonna me. say, um, you need someone to talk. Is it to is it a difference in in Nick Cannon and the the guarantee. rapper with a bunch of baby moms? I wasn't listening. To <laughs> but you know what I'm speaking Excuse on. Excuse me, I apologize. Is it a difference in Nick Cannon and everybody else that's doing it? Like I said before, I feel like he can afford to. He can afford to have a kind of lifestyle where he splits that time up. As much as you could possibly do. Okay. So I feel like you know what I mean, and I also I am I am come from a class that you do what's good for you, what's good for the goose and good for the gander. That's what's wrong with motherfuckers. They always looking and pointing. It. Yo, them bitches look happy to me. Yeah. As a woman, when I see them, they look fine. They look. How happy. many of them is it? You said it's they so look like, like thirty five. You know what's yeah, crazy? Yeah. They all go get maternity pictures and shit. Like every month, this nigga they coming did, out yeah. with a new new joint. <laughs> it's a new one. <laughs> bitches dropping like albums. Nah, go no no shirt. Holding the titties in the front of her. No socks. He got 50 of them motherfuckers. Denim. Denim. You know the vibe. Shout out to Nick Cannon. That dick work. Boy, I need to work them hips. Remember he was a rapper? I don't Jing mind Jigs alone, spending lots of dough. Oh, but we... Give me a little of that Nick Cannon That was actually dick. Robert If part, I fuck bro. Nick Cannon, I'll make him come in the goddamn dishwasher. Because he's fur, don't get it? Get to come away from me, away, baby. <laughs> Dre's so confused about the yeah, coming in this Um, yeah. Next, him and Kiki White right now going. That I don't have a lot of duds, so if I get one or two, him and who? Yeah, Kiki got a lot of kids too. Yeah, Kiki got like. Who Damn, Kiki, Kiki got White. Like the Dallas Cowboys. Avant, yeah, the hit with Avant. Singer. Oh. Kiki got about 10, 11 out the pussy out her out of her Damn. vagina. You know who I was creeping on uh, recently? Tweet. Who said what? I was creeping on Tweet Instagram. She still look good. Yeah, Tweet looks good. That's that rapper. Tweet came out with a song about masturbation. I've always been here for that. that Tell you what I did last night. <laughs> Tweet was one of my favorites. Hey, woke up about a quarter to three. <laughs> it's still so high. <laughs> Outside. <laughs> I like Tweet. And Tweet came out when she was 30. I was here for that. Tweet was fine. And she had beautiful brown skin. I'm Word. a Tweet person. Um, Y'all want to go to the dark side of my DM? Let's get it. Let's do it. Okay, it's it's terrible. Like most are. Um, thank you for your show. I'm not gonna say much, but I've been with the same man since I was 17. I got two kids by him, and he beats me daily. Listen, Damn. I keep getting these. I don't. I was getting them because I. We had the episode when I had the army fatigue, mm -hmm. and y'all said like I was about to cry, but I wasn't. And um, and we talked about because remember we were being really protective mm -hmm. and whatever. Um, ever since then I've been getting way more. So many women are like in these places where they're getting their asses whooped. It's like it's crazy. I mean, you read stats about it, but it's ridiculous. We're gonna start an underground joint. You feel Railroad me? for you, bitches. I don't know how many times we gotta explain it to leave. It's never. I feel like people look at me like a non judgmental judgmental per person to the point where they think I'm gonna say, "Oh, well, just put them in therapy." It's like I'm gonna always give you the same answer. Get the fuck out of here. You gotta go, baby girl. Or, but let's or, let's or, read the DM. Or get him out of here. You know? <laughs> Felt says have him. Have him <laughs> That's what I was saying. Um, I was 17. I got two kids by him. He beats me daily. It's been hard to leave, but watching your videos make me feel so safe. Like somebody out there really talking about real shit and non judgmental. What is a good way to leave someone who's been hurting you physically and mentally for years, but you feel like you can't prosper alone? Um, I hope you reply because you're a dope ass person. It looks like you've been there, done that. So, yeah. It would mean more than the world to hear it from you or speak on domestic violence. And how to get out. I watch you every Tuesday. I'm going to be honest. I've never been in a situation where I had to escape because of domestic violence. I've never been in that situation. That's number one. Um, and I don't want to take away from the women that have like mm -hmm. escaped from those situations because those are huge. But I have been in a situation where I feel like I can't do no better than this guy. Or is there anything? But that is a common feeling. You feel like, let me stick on my piece of shit instead of getting a new piece, new of, piece shit. of shit. We all feel that way, girl. That dick is great when you in it. By next summer, you won't even remember what he used to do, or what the dick looked like. It's not that, it's not as deep as you. Listen. Fake it till you make it and pretend that you're confident enough to leave and pretend that you're confident enough that you're going to get a better man. And you got to just use that energy to keep it moving. There's no other way. The grass is greener sometimes. Yo, what is the other option? And that's how you have to look at it. I'm in a situation this guy's beating me daily. That means your bruises can't even heal before you get a new one. Facts. 
So what is the other option? What is the other, what's the other thing we're going to do here? Are we going to continue to get our asses whipped or are we going to leave? What you mentioned was two kids. Yeah, what about the kids? Watch you get your fucking ass whooped. Make a move for your child. Think about your children. Your children come first. Your kids can't grow up like that. A girl child can't grow up like that because she will let somebody whoop her ass and a boy child can't live like that because he will whoop somebody's okay. ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Flat out. So, you know, it's like you make a decision because you have to. And if you think for one second that that's the only person you can get, you're lying to yourself. It's you, it's not. You are with a piece of shit. You are wasting your time. If you're in a situation where he's harassing you, he's doing, you might have to go to a domestic violence shelter that has security, nigga, with a big gun that to keep his bitch ass out. Because what I know for facts, men that hit women are pussy. Yeah, big time. So if you get so go somewhere where you're protected, you you can be safe. Find a way to get out. Go to the next town, get you a license, live in a state where you can blow his motherfucking head off. Move to Florida. You can kill a nigga ten times in Florida. They don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. You kill ten niggas in Florida. They ain't gonna do nothing. Um, and at the end she said, I can cash app you too. Let me know, sis. Bitch, next time send the cash app first. <laughs> I love you. You can do it. Okay? You can do it. You never know. You might be stronger than me. I hate when y'all put me on this super strong pedestal. It's like, girl, I'm a regular bitch. We praying like you. for I you. I cry too. Yeah, no, no bullshit. We praying though. for you. Lead like, that motherfucker. Get, yeah, he get beat it. you daily. Get the get what you need to get out of that situation. Beat get you out the daily. Way. Fuck him, get girl. Your kids and get no up bullshit. Out of there. I, Fuck him. We had that little error too, where we had that string of women that were um like guys that like show like abusive behavior to them. A lot of women would attribute that to like having good vagina. Like, yeah, I hated that. That's that's not normalized that because that's not what that is. The, I have met is abusive. younger girls, right? That really would tell me just openly, we be fighting. It's like with a but smile I, in her face. But I was that girl. I remember like being in high school and I fought my first boyfriend. We would get into fights or whatever. I remember when I first got hit with my boyfriend and all that. And how fast you normalize shit like that. Yeah. And I remember running into, because my mother did move me to the suburbs as early teen. I remember running into my suburban friends and having like a bruise from a fight and seeing only my boyfriend fight and them being like mortified. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And like mm-hmm. that quick, it's not normal. Mm-hmm. It's not normal, girl. That shit is ab. Fucking normal is wrong. It's never supposed to happen. He's never supposed to raise his motherfucking hand to you. I think a lot of girls get it twisted because they hit first. Mm-hmm. Still ain't supposed to hit you. You know, bitches tell me a lot. It ain't like he ball up and punch me. Same shit. What is he smack with y'all slap boxing and you flying around? Motherfucker, the, the goddamn man. Tom, look at Tom hands. Okay. You will get moved though. You punch me or something. You gotta get moved. You said we decorated. Me and Phelps almost for it. <laughs> I told y'all that. I don't even know why. <sighs> I don't know. That's because me and Phelps need to fuck. You ain't, you ain't, you don't I want ain't that. I ain't ready. Yeah, you don't want I that. I ain't ready for that dick yet. I know it. All right, I'm listening to the voicemail. Hi, Mona. I really love your show. Shout out to Dre, Rhonda, Tom, Phelps. And Derek, Hi. I'm a huge fan. Oh, oh Derek. Why you being I'm ready? sorry. Let me run it back. I'm sorry. And Derek, I'm a huge fan even before the podcast and before Why You Being Weird to Me. Okay. I've always enjoyed your commentary on real life situations. So I need your advice. I have a crush on Phil. However, I am not looking for a relationship. I just really like his vibe. On show, All right, thanks for coming. <laughs> catch me here next time, same time next week, and I'll catch you guys next week. Shout out to Breakbeat and everybody else. You gotta let that Shout rock. We want to hear where she was going with it. Cut it off. <laughs> it's a rap, Dre. Yo, <laughs> Yo. <laughs> think it's a joke? It's over. <laughs> Wrap it up.